Hi everyone, I'm Riley Wilkinson, and today I'm going to flip through and read In My Heart. You can't see the word M because I got this from my library, but I promise you that that is the word my. In My Heart, A Book of Feelings by Joe Witek. Witek? I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. Illustrated by Christine Rossi or Rose. Okay, doing my best. Hopefully that's how you say your names. I want to talk too about how this book looks, not just the words, but the pictures. All right, let's take a look. Oh, look at this cutout, this heart cutout. That's interesting. And this, these are end papers, the uh, design on the inside of the book. We've got hearts, and oh, we have different hearts on the uh, and the back of the book, the back end papers. In My Heart, A Book of Feelings. My heart is full of feelings. Big feelings, big, let me say that again. My heart is full of feelings. Big feelings and small feelings. Loud feelings and quiet feelings. Quick feelings and slow feelings. My heart is like a house with all these feelings living inside. A house. I wonder, I'm looking ahead to see what kind of art there is. I wonder if this clothesline is sort of like a house to this girl. Oh, look, she's hanging up a tree and she's got an alligator who's crying. And I wonder what's happening with this house. Oh, it looks like it's got a big teardrop. And over here, we have the shape of a house. Ah, I had to skip ahead. Now I see we've got the shape of a house. Sometimes my heart feels like a big yellow star. Look, yellow star. Shiny and bright. I smile from ear to ear and twirl around so fast, I feel as if I could take off into the sky. This is when my heart is happy. Look, she's jumping up into the sky. I wonder if this is planet Earth or if maybe this is the moon. I see a rocket ship and we've got a big star over here. Hmm, look at this. It's like half, half of a cloud that bleeds off the edge. We call it a bleed off when an illustration or color or piece of art goes off the edge of the page. There's your vocabulary lesson for this minute. Ooh, look, there's the earth. Other times my heart feels strong. I stand up tall as if I can touch the clouds. New people and places don't frighten me. I can do it. Watch me go. This is when my heart is brave. She looks brave because she's up in a hot air balloon. You know, she's not only in a hot air balloon, but she's in a hot air balloon that traveled far and wide. It looks like her hot air balloon was behind planet Earth and then whoosh, flew around it, did a loop-de-loop, -loop, and there she is, and she's looking at the heart. Look at this planet Earth. I like that the continents are sort of like, they're not perfect. They're just shapes. When I get really angry, my heart feels as if it's going to explode. Don't come near me. My heart is yelling hot and loud. This is when my heart is mad. Let's see what? on this page looks like it's mad. Her face looks mad. Those bright red cheeks. Did she have red cheeks before? Oh no, she didn't. So the bright red cheeks. Now it looks like she's making something explode. This big boom. Can you hear my cat in the background? That's Jade. I think she gets very mad when she's hungry. Look at this. Boom. It's like a big explosion. Big orange explosion. But other times my heart is cool. 
I bob along gently like a balloon on a string. My heart feels lazy and slow, as quiet as snowfall. This is when my heart is calm. So what about this looks calm? It's upside down. We've got those look like snow, like snowflakes. There's the cat, there's Jade. Free sound effects in the background. Last time it was my dog, Maisie, and now it's my cat, Jade. That sounds like a book. We have a big green balloon here. Look at these hearts. How they go down in size, they descend in size. This cut out. On harder days, mean words hurt my feelings and my heart feels hurt too. It's fragile and delicate, but it can be healed with extra kisses. This is when my heart is broken. What do you think is happening here? Looks like she has a bandage and she's rolling it around this plus sign. Look at her expression. And her, just that little dot of a mouth, she's going, Ooh. I wonder what that is. I think it's toothpaste or some sort of antibacterial ointment. She has a whole kit right here. Let's count the plus signs. We have one, we have another, we have another. That's bold, a big, bold red plus sign. Oh, wow, what is this? What do you think that is? Well, it's got this big tube, and that looks like an ear. I bet you this is an elephant. It looks like an elephant. Some days my heart feels as heavy as an elephant. There we go. I was right. There's a dark cloud over my head, and tears fall like rain. This is when my heart is sad. Oh, she's sad here. She's not crying. She's just standing up on this little stage with her eyes closed. Even her bow looks sad. See how the bow is just kind of hanging? You know, I like that the artist put a teeny tiny tail, teeny tiny tail on the back of this elephant. Isn't it interesting that we know this is an elephant even though we don't see any eyes or a mouth? Let's go to the next feeling. Oh, that's a nice thick page. But my heart doesn't stay sad. Like springtime after winter, the sun comes out again. My heart grows tall like a plant reaching toward the sky. This is when my heart is hopeful. Hey, look, see that bow? Now it's pointing upwards before it was down. So that says up, happy, renewed, fresh, like that flower, that's up. What's she got going on here? She has broccoli and cauliflower and maybe that's lettuce. She's watering this plant. I like, I like that color. I like that shade of green. Oh no, what's happening here? Eek! When I see something scary, my heart beats fast. I feel cold as if a chilly breeze has crawled up my neck and I run away as fast as I can. This is when my heart is afraid. Yeah, that is definitely afraid. She's running. Looks like she dropped everything. She dropped mushrooms and a box. What's that? A little birdhouse. I wonder why that's red. I think there's some more mushrooms here. Then there's this big wolf. Look at those teeth. Just triangles. Just like that elephant with the little tiny tail. We have little lines for fur on his tail and three little whiskers. Even uh, fingernails, claws, little dots here and here. When it's time for a bit of fun, my heart feels full of giggles and wiggles. Abracadabra, I hop around like a bouncy bunny. This is when my heart is silly. 
Look, she's got, looks like she's almost wearing a costume. She has whiskers. Now the bow is up on her ears. She has a, like a magic wand. She's dancing across all these flags. Here we go. Here's a hat. Big giant hat. That's got a bow also. Sometimes I hide my heart. I hide my heart away where no one can see, like my own small treasure. I don't want anyone to look at me. Safe on my swing, I can watch the world from up above. This is when my heart is shy. Feeling shy. Sometimes feeling shy is a good excuse to just be quiet and read a book and just sit down and think about life. Here we go. There's a red heart in this tree. Hey, that looks like a hand. Looks like the tree is saying, hey, I'm shy too. Come sit under me. My heart can feel so many feelings, and yours can too. Today my heart is proud. How does your heart feel? Look at this, all these different trees and hearts and leaves and colors. She's got flowers in her hair, and she's holding a flower with a heart in it. So she's got all sorts of feelings. She's made up of all of these, kind of like a big bowl of soup or a salad or maybe a backpack filled with all sorts of stuff, all sorts of different feelings and emotions. And they're all equal. They're all important. And you have to have all of them so that you can feel like a human. It's OK to have every feeling, just like she did the end, there are hearts again. You know what I like? I like that they're just white hearts, and we learn about all the feelings, and then there are all these different colors. So we've learned about all the different feelings that you can feel. So there you go. What a cute book. I checked this out from the library. I think if you like this book, you should buy it and support the author and the illustrator who worked so hard to write and illustrate this very meaningful book about feelings. Thank you for watching. Bye.